the psychology of canceling check it out we'll do that again the psychology of deception is about conditioning when you're gonna condition people to something it means you're gonna repeat something but if you can do something that's repetitive action and within the repeats use different methods that cancel each other out or just when people think it must be this and then they realize well it couldn't have been that because we just saw this now you have something people cannot reconstruct here's a great example you've got some coins you ask some people who's got some coins they put some coins on the table they can put some coins in a glass at the bar even the coins a bunch of coins in someone's hands so I go down and I pick up a coin any coin in this case I have a dime and I do a false transfer okay now yes you can do something at the fingertips more of that kind of but I think it's real simple to have it in the finger palm you turn the hand over squeak curling the fingers just enough to hold on to the coin and you but this hand responds as if he caught something and this hand drops to your side in performance I go down pick up the coin show it pretend to put it there and make it vanish now at this point some people are going to start to think about the other hand but before they get there I come over and I sort of say let me do it again I go down and I pretend to pick up a second coin but I have nothing and in fact I ditched I got rid of the first coin okay so you come up with nothing and you get that put it all together and you have a beautiful canceling idea where you go down they see the coin the first time okay you come in they don't get to see that one but the right hand's empty so the key images which is coin shown first time and then sh coin shown vanished at the end boom all together does a beautiful job of of making you know you not only make the coin vanish once but twice and your hands are empty when you're ready to take your magic education to the next level check out InsideDeception.com